I decided to seek God's will for the decisions I faced apart from the financial factors. Likewise, I committed myself to keep the main thing the main thing. But I needed to make sure I knew what the main thing was. I cried out to God. I begged the Lord for wisdom in this matter. What is the main thing? What do you want me to do, Lord? What do you want me to be when I grow up? I'm a grandfather. I'm a brother. I'm a preacher. I'm a professor. I'm a songwriter. I'm a worshiper. I am a I'm an employee, I'm an employer, I'm a citizen, I'm a member, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a debtor, I'm a creditor, I'm a follower, and I'm a leader. Boil it down for me, Lord. What is my purpose in life? Who am I, really? I heard a preacher quote that, I'm not who you think I am. I'm not who I think I am. I am who I think you think I am. This reflection caused me to ask God who he thinks I am. His view is all that really matters. I begged for a response. Lord, who am I and who do you want me to be? What do you want from me? What can I give to you? I was determined to keep the main thing the main thing, and all I needed to do was figure out what the main thing is. I went back and took a hard look at my life and this 50-year-old ministry. I reviewed our mission statement. We are boldly reaching out to change lives with the radical truth of our Jewish Savior. Now, a mission statement helps us focus on the main thing. It helps us evaluate our decisions in light of the purposes to which God has called us and commissioned us to serve. I'm a Jewish guy. I love my people. I love Israel. I love the God of Israel. I want to encourage other people to do the same. I want to help people learn about the Jewish origins of the church. I want to foster understanding about the Jewish festivals of the Bible. But these are things that I do as a minister as a person. Well, golly, I I mean, I want to love my family. I want to love my friends. I want to understand my enemies so I can love them too. I want to help my friends understand my enemies so together we can walk safely in wisdom. I want to be a preacher of truth, but at times in media ministry, my voice feels like a hollow echo across across a canyon of error. I want to carry the light into the darkness. Jesus changed my life, and he called me to this ministry. He did so in 1973, and he's still changing me because he loves me, and he has a plan for me. Some days it hurts to change, but everything that happens to me is for my good and God's glory. In fact, I think most everything calls me to live for two days. In that regard, I guess I'm very short-sighted. I want to be most short-sighted. I want to be the most short-sighted preacher that I know. I want my entire life to be concentrated on two days. And I believe this is also God's will for my life. And I believe I must tell you to change your concentration too. You see, I'm concerned that our Lord wants us to be aware and clear about knowing your purpose and his three rules about money.